Kia ora and welcome to the second lesson on the words of chemistry. This is the formulae and we're looking at simple ions. Now, in the previous part you looked at what an element is. It's a substance that can't be broken down further. To introduce a new term is atom because we need to know what an atom is before we can work out what an ion is. An atom is the smallest particle that represents an element. So if I had a copper bracelet and I could zoom in with a microscope uh, about 100 trillion times and if I looked at that you would be able to see these small little particles called atoms. So an ion is simply an atom that has a positive or negative charge. An atom is neutral, an ion is charged. So for example I've got a sodium atom and a sodium ion that's positively charged or a chlorine atom and a chlorine chloride ion. So have a look for the name change. Sodium atom, sodium doesn't change, but I change atom to ion for a Na plus. And notice that I have chloride. My chlorine changes to an IDE, and then I add the ion to make it Cl minus. So ions can be positively charged or negatively charged. So we call a positively charged ion a cation, and a way to remember it is with a diagram with little pluses for eyes and nose, and an, an ion is negatively charged, and you can think of it like an ion, like a steam ion with negative slots for the steam. So here is a list of the positive ions you need to know. It looks like a tremendous amount, but if you think about it, have a look at those I'm highlighting. Can you see something that we learned about valency in the previous lesson? What is the relationship between charge and valency? And you'll see it's the same. You can base it from the group number. So you really know about half of these ions. You need to learn the others off by heart. You'll notice with ion 2 and ion 3, they have some elements can have variable char uh, charges, so you need to know these. And the way it's done is we write the valency or the charge in brackets, and we write them as Roman numerals. So it's ion 2 is Fe2+. Notice that the Roman numerals are written in the name and not in the formula. The ones done in bold are the most common ones. You don't meet the others very often. So, what are the simple negative ions? We have those in group 16 and those in group 17. And notice the change in name before an anion, it changes to ide. So, fluorine becomes fluoride and so on. And as I say, I hope you notice the relationship with the valency. Group 16 has a valency of 2 and a charge, if it's got a charge, the ion, it'll be negative 2. Here we just say 16 subtract 18 is negative 2. And group 17 is 17 subtract 18 is negative 1. And ions are always negative. So pause the video while you try and think of the terms for um, that we use. Do we use atom or ion or what do we use? Here are the answers. Sodium ion, or you could have said cation. Sodium metal is made up of atoms. Chloride is an ion, or you could have said an ion or negative ion. And sodium and chlorine are examples of elements. Here's some more practice. Write the name of the ion. Here are the answers. Lithium ion, ion 2, don't forget those um, Roman numerals and brackets. Oxide, chloride, hydrogen, and sulfide. For the anion, you don't have to write the word iron. Uh, I know I've done it for chloride iron just to show you could do both because the fact that it's an iron is already shown in the IDE. Here's some more practice. Now write the formula. So pause the video while you do this. Here are the answers. K plus, F minus, Al3 plus, Pb4 plus because of those Roman numerals. Fe3+, plus, again because of the Roman numerals, and Br-. minus. Finally, time for tips. So remember, try and use the word atoms and ions correctly. 
and of course use the periodic table. Now time for the joke and see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.